Good morning, folks. Today we're looking at an upcoming earthquake watch based on the coronal hole, an Arctic ice story and not the one they tell you on the news, and one on the ocean overturning circulation. But we'll start, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flaring has calmed considerably. We have lots of sunspots, but they have not been flaring or erupting CMEs. We have several plasma filaments to monitor as well. Biggest ones are astride the incoming southern coronal hole, the extent of which indicates that the polar field reversal on the sun is still ongoing. This opening will deliver enhanced solar wind streams to Earth by the middle to end of the week, along with geomagnetic activity, but it is also expected to provide an earthquake watch due to its magnetic coupling and alpha waves. The earthquake watch is building now and will likely peak later this coming week, something to watch for the next few days as they roll on. If you didn't catch our afternoon videos the last two days, they are very much worth your time. In less than seven minutes, we touch on solar forcing, weather modification, and the magnetic pole shift currently underway at our planet. Up first in the articles today is this. Contrary to what they are saying on TV, there was no Arctic ice minimum this last year, or any of the last few years. We are still way, way above the 2012 minimum, and it's kind of crazy they had to write this paper when the data is so easily accessible. They're literally just lying to us about the North Pole. But more importantly, the AMOC. Confirmation and quantification of its current weakening from 2000 to 2020 suggests a 12 to 17 percent decrease in strength. This is what causes major cooling transitions in which many scientists and even the Weather Channel admit it is like the scenario out of the movie The Day After Tomorrow and combined with Yale's cold climate bomb waiting to unleash from the Beaufort Gyre, turns out the polar ice isn't the only thing we're largely lied to about the coming years. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.